Master Duel can often be criticized for its extremely high rarity decks, leaving free-to-play and budget players behind. But how wide is that gap? How far can you truly push the limits of Master Duel's lowest rarity cards? In this series, I will challenge myself to climb the Master Duel rank ladder using only cards in the normal or rare rarity. No supers and no ultras. Additionally, I will focus on a free-to-play format, relying 100% on what Master Duel itself grants me. On top of that, I will limit the amount of crafts I can do based on milestones I reach throughout the series. How far can the lowest rarity cards in Master Duel take me? There's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel in R only. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and hit the like button so you don't miss a single episode. Alright, here we go. This is it. This is the rank to see if we can get into silver. I think if I can get into silver, I might go ahead and open 10 more packs. Because we do have a lot of gems that we can use. And so we figure we might as well use some, especially as we're ranking up to a brand new rank that's going to get only harder from here. So if we can win this one, we can earn ourselves some packs. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how this hand is turning out. Oh, are we going to play a real deck? <laughs> Um, okay, we're gonna see. I know Rescue Ace isn't full, full power like it is in the TCG right now, where it is like one of the best decks in the game. So, we're gonna see how this works out. Oh, God. All right, Shield Crush. Oh God, okay. So we know for a fact that they have Extinguish, which is a target destroy, um, but it's only for effect monsters. So Lust Dragon's okay here. I think we kind of have to just play into it and make them use stuff. So I'm going to literally just normal summon Lust Dragon and I'm just gonna go battle. I'm gonna clear their monitor here. Okay, it gains 1500 attack and is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. And the next time it would be destroyed by battle, it's not destroyed. Hmm. That's fine. I could book this and it the attack would go through. I just don't know how much that is important. Like, how much do I need to keep this board presence here? I think I'm gonna book it. I'm I'm kind of just seeing what we've got here. Because now I'm gonna be able to clear it. I'm gonna be able to go to main two. And they're gonna have these two sets here, but I'm gonna have to just let them have them. So I can get more spell trap removal. So we're kind of just hoping that they don't really have much else outside of back row. Okay, they do have alert, which is just going to give them their monitor immediately. Hmm, this is going to be... <laughs> there's our problem child right there. Uh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, they do have the uh, fire attacker, so... Hmm. Going to get reinforced again. are going to clear. Mm, this might be getting out of hand and they don't even have turbulence yet. All right, let's draw. Paladin is not enough. I kind of have to, because we know that they have extinguished. So we have to play around that. Or reinforce, I should say. They also have extinguish. But we have to kind of play around reinforce as well. So we're kind of losing things either way. All right, I'm going to make them use stuff. I don't see them ever putting anything into defense, really. So we're going to get rid of this shield crush. We're going to return the fire attacker. And then we're going to... We're going to normal summon paladin. We know that they have extinguish and reinforce. So we've got to get rid of one of those. And I, I'd rather them go ahead and use that trap 
than them just be able to sit on the monitor, I guess. Because they can use the re the extinct reinforce anyway on their turn. And then extinguish is going to do the same thing. So this is probably the only way that I was going to, you know, force them to use anything. So and they're going to be able to use reinforce in the graveyard to get alert back. Tributing for fire attacker. Wait, do they just win here? If they reinforce, is that game? Okay. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> so, I still survive a turn. I need... Book of Moon doesn't even do it. I need, like, Smashing Ground? Tap Crusader. That's not gonna do it. Yep, okay. Let's see if we can just survive. I'm not confident about it. Oh, there's the Hydrant. Activate it, and that's pretty much going to be game, right? Yeah, um, they're going to get three sets here. They have enough game with Reinforce, I believe. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they have, they have enough. You got it, dude. You got it. Unfortunate. Okay, I will say that we held off the Rescue Ace player better than I thought we would. We just didn't quite have the right cards and stuff like that, so we're going to see how well we do against this one. This hand's pretty promising, especially with the Guan Yun freshly crafted, our second copy, so we're going to see how much that helps us out here. All right, we are on Dark Magician again. Okay, send them both to the graveyard, assuming that we're going to get like a... Uh, going to special summon that Dark Magician that you sent. Yeah. So funnily enough, Guan Yun actually trades with this thing. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, they finally made their choice. They picked Dark Burning Magic. Which, uh, if you control monsters, you can destroy all cards your punk controls. So, that's a little scary. I mean, this will bait that. So, we will bait it with this. Which is also useful. This is why Guan Yun is also really good. Because it does have a, a pop as well that comes with it. So, it will uh, sort of help me bait effects like this Dark Burning Magic that they have sitting in the back. Because I'm basically just going to pop... Attempt to pop the Dark Magician, then try to swing in with Dark uh, Magician Girl. They're going to change combination. Uh, that's fine. Get our boy. And I'm going to use its effect. I'm going to attempt to destroy the Dark Magician. They're going to Dark Burning Magic. It doesn't matter because I'm still going to get the pop. It doesn't negate me or anything. Okay. And then, uh, what do I want to summon here? I'm going to make it Tackle Crusader. And then I'm going to go Battle. Declaring Battle. I'm going to use Tackle Crusader. I thought Super Rush Headlong would, would be able to be used at the start of damage step, but I guess I'd have to do it on attack deck. So that's a bit unfortunate. Um, well, I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a little, that's a little, uh, big my bad, but, uh, lessons learned there. I, sh I gotta do that on attack deck. I mean, they could have attributed the Dark Magician girl, negated it, and then brought out Dark Magician anyway. So, like, I don't know, but, yeah, I gotta learn from that mistake. I I just thought because it was a quick play spell, I could do it later. And then it would stop their trap from being able to uh, chain to it or anything like that, but I guess I was mistaken. What could that set card be? Yeah, that's fine. 
gonna be able to get what you need okay just his rod that's a solid one probably gonna normal it and then add the spell trap yup so this is when I'm going to start considering if we need to get uh, Forbidden Chalices in our deck. Just because the higher we get, the more negating effects is going to be important. Yeah. Oh, did they whiff on that on the search? Okay. On the excavate. I can take this damage. Um... We're still in a bit of a rough spot. I kind of need another card to bait that negate that they have. That's not going to bait anything. I mean, it's kind of the only play we have. So we're going to go for it. But we're not looking too great right now. We're going to clear the rod first. And then we're going to have them clear us with the Dark Magician. And that's when we use Super Rush Headlong. Okay. Now we'll go main phase two. We'll set our Super Rush Headlong and give it back to them. Oh, Magic Karibo. Oh, that's going to just loop forever. They're going to banish the card now. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, I'm not dead. For all intents and purposes, I think I'm fine for at least a turn, but I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of this. Yep. Magician's Rod again. Is there a conceivable way that you kill me from this position? I mean, it doesn't look like it. There are some things that do it. Some things have to work out correctly, but we're going to see what we draw here. Please be something that I want to see. Okay, so here's the plan. We have to threaten this Magician's Rod, right? Because what's going to happen here is I'm going to try to bait out their Eternal Soul. And then if I can do that, then they can summon whatever they want to do. I can Dust Tornado on their turn, the Eternal Soul... And then wipe their board. So I'm going to threaten by using Axe Dragonut. Threatening the Magician's Rod, to be clear. I'm just going to like bet that they're going to fire off their Eternal Soul here at some point. Alright, battle. Swing him. Puts him in defense. Uh, it's fine. Dust Tornado, we set it, and then we hope that they just flip it up, and then on their turn, I can Dust Tornado it and get rid of it. Oh, they could just do that and pop the back row. Right? Or is that not... No, no, no. It has to be Dark Magician. Okay, cool. There it is. They flipped it up. They flipped it up. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Okay, so the way that combination works is that when I flip up this Dust Tornado, they'll have to tribute either Dark Magician or a Dark Magician Girl, and then special summon the other from either their hand or graveyard. So right now they have a Dark Magician in the graveyard. They have Dark Magician Girl on the field. If I can get, if they can get Dark Magician on the board and they don't have one of the two in the hand, then I will be safe. 
So if this comes from the uh, graveyard, if this eternal soul summons that dark magician from the graveyard, then we're good. And it did come from the graveyard. Okay. So I basically make a bet here on whether or not they have dark magician girl or dark magician in their hand, or if they have neither. Because if they don't have either one, then it doesn't matter. I can, you know, those tornado, they contribute one of these two, but it won't do anything. Um, the more than likely scenario is that I probably need to get rid of Dark Magician because I feel like the DMG deck only runs one Dark Magician girl. Alright, so let's go for it. I'm gonna pop Eternal Soul. And I'm making the bet that they do not have... That's, that's actually per so fine. Because it's still going to wipe the board after it resolves. I don't think that matters. No applicable card in my hand. That's fine. And then that's going to wipe the board. Oh, you can chain that to it. Oh, it's not your opponent. Oh, that's cheeky. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that does that does work. Which means that we lose the game. All right. <laughs> We've been having a rough time of it so far, but uh, we're just trying to get that one last win so we can get into silver. Okay. Um, I am not happy about my hand whatsoever, but I'm glad I went second so I can get that extra card because I'm going to need it. This is another one of those hands that is just, <laughs> there's no normal summon of a monster. I have too many spells going on. Oh, is that a real deck? It'll be like Sword Soul or something. What? Oh, shit. Eater of Millions. Holy crap. I mean, that's fine. You're going first. Are they playing Nemlaria? Is that in this game? What was that? No. Dude, don't do this to me. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Please don't be a the burn deck. Or no, this is Mill, right? Either way, it's cheeky as hell. What? Whoa! <laughs> I've never seen this card in my life! That thing's 10,800 attack! Then two of the monsters from your hand and or field to- Oh, it's gone now. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, that, that did a whole lot. Okay. 300 attack for each banished card. Oh my god. Okay. Summon monster? Okay, that works. Um, hey, half your life points, apply one of these effects, depending on the number of Gandora monsters with different names in great. Destroy all of the cards, banish all of the cards. Okay. Holy. All right. Well, uh, this is winnable. We go Tackle Crusader. We go Book. And, uh, we, 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 we kill it because it has zero defense. Um, that, I'm sure they have some follow-up stuff in here somewhere, but for now, I'm feeling okay about this. All right, let's, let's see how they follow up that, because uh, that was kind of an insane turn one, but it kind of fizzled here at the end, so I'm kind of terrified. Oh my god, another Prospy. I mean, uh, Desires. That's ridiculous. They have four cards in their deck. If we can survive five turns, then we're fine. Oh. Make that four turns after they Foolish. Yep. Another Gandora. Dimensional Fissure, I'm not worried about. Normal summon Grand Maju right now. In phase. 
All right. Let's just punch for now, I guess. And boom. Go ahead. If they had a Grenmaju, this would kind of go insane. Like just normal. Oh. Thunderbird. Trade in. Um, okay. How much is 24? Okay, we can beat a Thunderbird though. What is this? If a card is banished, game five. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm winning by mill now. I'm winning by mill. Oh, 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 it's not like current. It's not current. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, I probably just let this go through. Yeah, I probably just let that go through. I, it's fine. You can have five. I think I'm fine. Give me a monster at least. That is a monster. Thank you. It's actually a really good one too. Um, smashing ground. <laughs> Gain five. That's fine. Normal summon. Punch for 19 and call it a day. They have one card in their deck. I am feeling fairly confident. What a crazy deck. All right, what is the one card? If it's Grand Maju, let's go. Banish deck doesn't mean anything to me. Banish mill, don't even care. 10k monster, don't even care. My deck is too powerful. There we go, guys. We did it. We have leveled up, ranked up into silver. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I'm going to be leaving it up to you guys in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to probably start the next episode by opening 10 more Master Packs because I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have quite a lot of gems that I can play around with. And remember, we're trying to build a normal and rare rarity deck that is built mostly out of sealed product on Master Duel and not trying to just craft everything. But let me know what you guys think on if you think I should be allowed to craft every single rank in silver. So five, four, three, two, one. Or if it should be a little bit more strenuous, let me know down in the comments section below. But next episode, we will keep playing in silver and we will be trying to uh, open up 10 master packs and see what we can get. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what you think. Hit subscribe so you get notified of every single master duel in our video. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.